Hey guys, today I wanted to show you this step stool made by Gorilla Ladders. Um, I got it at Home Depot and the best part is it's about $11, which is way cheaper than the stools with the bad design. Um, I would consider a stool with a bad design ones that are not designed to uh, really hold a lot of weight properly. Oftentimes you'll see that they have the hinge right down the center of your uh, stepping or sitting area, which I don't like. Um, this one, as you can see, is one solid piece and it's a very sturdy, strong um, plastic. All right, so this thing is about eight and a half inches tall. This is 12 inches and this is about eight and a half inches over here. Um, this is kind of a silicone softer rubber and it has these that you can feel so it's a kind of a um, non-slip surface and then here you have the hard plastic. It is uh, really easy. They call it a one step because I don't have it locked right now because I knew I wouldn't be able to unlock it with one hand. But basically you just um, unlock it by popping out, here are the locks. So you pop that out and then you fold, fold in and then you just go like that and that's a one step um, stool. Well, that's what they call it. And then when you do that, this is 17 inches long and this is one inch. So it's extremely easy to store <clears throat> and tuck away in your tack room or your trailer or um, garage or anywhere. I mean, it's so easy. And then to um, open it up again, you just fold it out, lock these two side hinges out, and then knock this down, which will lock these tabs in. It has a 300 pound capacity. And I'll show you the design here. Here's the hinge, and the hinge itself won't extend any more than that. This, this hinge is now locked, but then they have these tabs here that also help to lock it so that it doesn't um, overextend, hy hyperextend. And then, can you, do you use hyperextend for hinges or just for joints? I don't know. Then you have this little tab here that sits on top of the base, and one on that side as well. You have these two uh, locks that is quite thick and they lock into the holes on top. And then on the other side, it's the same design. You've got these two um, security locks for the hinge and then the support tabs over there that are resting. And then you'll see also that pretty much the entire top is physically sitting on top of the base and so um, that is also going to lend a ton of strength. Uh, you have this to spread out the, all of this, the shapes and all that, all of that will spread out the force and the weight set upon it. But basically what I'm saying is if you have a hinge across the top then that hinge is going to be a weak spot. Instead you have a solid piece here and this solid piece is sitting over this base. So it is physically unable to, uh, well, it's physically unable to just like fall or crumple or something like that. Uh, th the plastic would actually have to sh uh, all completely shatter in order for this to fail. You s I'm not even saying this right, but you know what I mean? It is, it's like physically incapable of failing if the plastic is strong. So of course, you know, plastics shouldn't be left out in the sun. Um, that'll weaken its integrity, the UV rays and all that, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, this hinge over here is also very strong and completely, it goes completely across. So there's very little gaps, uh, which means that uh, a lot of um, even weight distribution across the whole entire thing, making it very strong and sturdy. And of course, the great thing is how easy it is to just collapse afterwards as well and store. So there you go. Um, my favorite, favorite step stool, not only for the ease of use, but for the excellent design and also the price. Uh, $11 is extremely, 
extremely fair price for this product, um, especially considering the ones with the bad design. I've seen them go for you know over twenty dollars, and they're the bad designs that I wouldn't I wouldn't even trust. But uh, this one's made by Gorilla Ladders, and eh, it is made in China. But you know what? I don't know. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine. People always go, oh, made in China is always bad. No, actually it's not. It depends on the company. The company determines the type of quality that they want. Um, there are awesome things that are made out of China. Um, it depends on the company. If the company is like, you know, hey, we're going to be cheap, and we just want the cheapest, cheapest of everything, then the product is gonna be cheap. But there are companies out there that go, no, you know what, we want good stuff, and then that's what they will make. They will just do whatever you want. Um, so anyways, sorry, my little <laughs> pet peeve. All right, so there you go, Gorilla Ladders, uh, one step folding step stool, awesome buy, uh, get one. <laughs> All right, talk to you guys later, bye.